Welcome back, everybody, to Chance of the Fog, where we do not have mic issues. And we got another fantastic match for you today. Joined today is Guiltspire. How are you doing, sir? You watched that last match? I did indeed. It was intense, and oh, I expected so no less from True. both Odium and Golden Wolves coming down to a two-point difference. Could Nail not biter. have been closer. Nail biter from start to finish. First set, close. Second set, even closer. And oh, fantastic. But regardless, train don't stop. We're still going. Starting into round number five, we have how did we get here versus the Oh yeah, we um Yeah, we mm. can't say that. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. We can't we can't say that name on Twitch, guys. Sorry. So they are nameless for the time. I'm kidding. We're gonna have to figure that out at some point, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, if anyone was wondering why the stream title wasn't updated, Twitch uh, told me that the title, something in the title went against its uh, policy. And I'm like, what, what What? could that be? And I was like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, so now <laughs> the hookers are the hookers. Yeah, we're, we're going to we're gonna have to figure out something at some point. But regardless, hookers versus we owe slept and bits aside it's gonna be a doozy we got some i did not expect this match at all so we got dead dog saloon and we're gonna be seeing another demogorgon right off the bat i i love seeing how much demogorgon is getting mm -hmm. used now that we've seen teams pick up on the lichen people yeah, have been using that constantly with demo and I actually, like, some people might go, well, oh, that's so much aura reading. That seems a bit much. I'm like, honestly, I kind of like... Killer. Yeah, I still... I kind of like Demo mm -hmm. with this much power in hand. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, it's Demo talked me down because I'm, I'm a big Demo fan. He's still a Nemon killer. His shreds are predictable. Yeah, he, he doesn't have a ton. I Honestly, the aura reading, it's good information. It's really nice, but usually demo kind of like gets dunked on i've only seen two again previous matches as well i've only seen two where the demo just actually came out and you know wrecked face and did some work so i think it was really good i think demo is like i think he's getting up there for me actually i'm kind of surprised how much work he does in this league so far i'm impressed i am enjoying it i have to see how this one goes again who's killing first we have the hookers killing first so they're gonna be playing the demo Indeed, indeed, and we are on the Dead Dog Saloon. And, ah. I mean, yeah, these are the add-ons we see in comp now. I love it. I, I'm i here for it. I mean, Barb's Glass is the obvious pick. I would have, until I saw that you used Leprous twice, I would have thought that wouldn't be the thing. That's a nice, juicy 3 chip back there, but it's not blocked off. Yeah, the fact that we're seeing it so much now is really nice. It's a really good add-on. I'm, oh. What was that? Is that a failed skill check or is that a I, pallet dropping? What was that? That was, the the noise notification was out of nowhere. Could that have been dis uh not distortion? What's the pebble? Diversion? Uh, diversion? Could that, that have it been wouldn't diversion? have had enough time. If I heard diversion that early into the match, I would call hacks. I I don't know what that was. All I know is a random skill check, but demo ignoring it, finding the claw dead, and does get that hit. I think she's going down here. I think she is too. I don't think you get, yeah, even with the fastball, you don't get it. And Demo's got a very early down, just barely a minute into this match now. And, oh, you know what it was? It was a fast vault through that window back there. Okay, that, that, that would make bait. a bit of sense. I think it was bait. I was thinking it was like, hey, that Gallows gen is uncorrupted. Let's go jam that out. It's one of the, it's one of the hardest gens in the game, especially with this three gen back here. It's one of the hard, is that a four gen potentially with that street one too? It is indeed, Ooh. so definitely a really strong setup here for the Demogorgon. Though I definitely agree with you on that uh, that Gal's gen being hard to play. I think if they use their balanced landing right, they can get the gen without issue. True. I, I mean, that's the thing. You put the balanced landing survivor up there, but it's not safe like the saloon gen. That is and true. That is again, true. if you've got this three gen back here, it's the, it, it is the obviously the go-to if you've got a three gen back you go for the gallows gen because it's the it's the closest to anything else and the other two are pretty much dead zones and let well the far corner one has at least two to three pallets in that area but once they're gone uh, yeah the gallows is the one to go for but it's still i still think it's relatively easy if you push a survivor off it they gotta run all the way back around and it's coming here for the unhook but they're alone they are indeed i'm gonna guess we're gonna uh... see a bt trade here 
trying to get in here for the unhook, but no one else is, and there oh, goes no. the Kate! As the gen pops, so does the Kate. And now you just wait to second stage here. Oh no, yeah, they confirmed second stage on the Clauda, and they're gonna get a, another hook here. Look at and this it's hook not too. even that far away. Yeah, they could. They can absolutely camp both these hooks, but Survivors oh, got the in right on time, and they are able to make their escape. They are, and I imagine both these two will get safety, yeah. And they're going to probably... Oh, they're not going to take the time to break the door either. I would have expected them to break the door, but they are going to tunnel out this quad edit, which makes perfect sense. You've got a hook in the back. Like, Ace is off doing something. Someone has to go for the unhook. Only one. And here comes the body block from Felix, so everybody... Is here now? Wait, no, that's not Ace. That's Felix. What am I talking about? Another gen going down. Survivor's not giving up here. But and that's a deadlock too, isn't that? Yeah, Gallows gets yeah, deadlock. Yeah, deadlock there. is up and running. And I don't know. I think with this Claudette going down here, I think it's going to be the end of the match. I think that it's there possible. will be very few ways for these survivors to reclaim any form of pressure. I would have to agree. This many, especially when. If the, the Gallows gen is the most progressed and it's barely been touched. Yeah, if there's no DS from the survivor, they're not even going to take a chance on their being DS. Oh, portal down for later. Okay, fair. Yeah, just waiting out any potential latent DS here. And yeah, I don't think they can come back from this. You've got three gens that have not even been touched, including your own three gen. So even if they manage to get some gens done, they're not going to get your three gen done. Interesting. I wonder, was this portal here for the the gen instead of just, you know, easy to get to? I don't know. And they're on their Gallows uh, gen. Perfect information. Absolutely perfect oh, yeah. information. I mean, do you see the the Felix up there? Let's see if you see that bounce land. And yeah, they are gone. Absolutely gone. But dry kicking that gen is just going to slowly regress. They have to break this three gen at one point, And with Demo having the ability to know where all these survivors are at any given time, did they break Saloon gen already? So, I'm not sure if it's Saloon Gen that's already been done. Ace. It looks like yeah. it, though, if we're looking at the corner of that screen. But Demo with a beautiful hit right there over that vault. And I don't Kate's know. Kate's in a bad spot. Yeah, Kate's in or a bad Nia. spot. Nia's in a bad spot. We, we are looping with friends here. Yeah, if Felix is not on that gen, they are in a really, really bad position. If... If Felix is on that gen, the survivors have a chance. They are gonna get the they are gonna get the pallets done there and gonna give Kate much needed time here, but uh, they need about the gen to pop. I'm surprised knowing that this killer has deadlock, that they didn't do the 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 saloon trick of keeping it 99. And yeah, we see Felix on that gen, they might be able to pop that gen. About 75. And with demo dropping off of these injured survivors, I'm starting to think these survivors might be able to come back. They might. Uh, they got nothing out of that chase with Nia and Kate. That Gallows gen is almost done, which is going to break their three gen. Despite the yeah, fact that survivors did the saloon gen, which I still think is a mistake with Deadlock, but... I, I would agree. I also want to point out Demo this is exactly what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to find where these survivors are. We see the two healing. I don't think it'll matter. And unfortunately, oh. a mistimed charge there with the shred, but will still end up with the hit on the Felix in the end. Yep, and... For one hit, the two survivors have healed, so they have reset on there, and I imagine they're going to go tag team that uh that gen on Gallows. I don't know if Felix gets the window here or the... Oh, he does get the pallet, though. I thought he was going to go for the window, so smart play from the Felix, and he's going to extend this chase as much as possible. He's got to get upstairs. No, he didn't go for the upstairs. This is interesting pathing from the Felix. Yeah, he's, he's out corner. in the middle of no man's land now. We did hear another gen pop, and it looks like it was Gallows. indeed the Gallows demo trying to beat out that dead hard, but... Uh, I'm sure Deb already knows that this man has a bounce landing. Yeah, a little bit of a maybe missed uh, missed catch there, but yeah, exactly. I, I mean, be fair. Mm. I feel like I do the same thing as well in pubs where I go, oh yeah, you know. Oh, they uh, cleansed it. <laughs> that that is portal. painful. That is painful oh. right there. Demo trying to teleport to that portal, but not able to as they already did they not see the survivor up. on that gen. Or I don't think to they did. They're, they're going oh, back to defend no. the hook. There is a survivor at the unhook here, and I think Kate's going to have free reign on that generator at this point in time. Yeah, she is, and she... This might potentially be a two-out, the way these survivors are played it. Demo has not kept up the pressure. They had, they had everything they wanted, and the survivors have managed to, you know, incrementally pull the game back into, you know, something playable at this point. 
Yeah, no, now this they're... is quite surprising, to say the least. I thought that early out that the game was pretty much uh, said and done, but Demo, uh, maybe letting things slip through your fingers. Ooh, Unfortunately, good zone. for your survivors, I don't good know. Zone. I think with Felix going down again, this might rain things back on in. It might, yeah. That was, again, really good zoning on the demo's part, and making sure that he didn't get the safe pallet. And yeah, this is going to be second hook here for the Felix. Kate might still be able to finish that gen, and at that point, if they... if Oh, that's a skill check that they missed. Oh, no. Yeah, eight that seconds off that gen might cost them it in the end. Yeah, it might. She's going to get plenty of room here. She's got all the space in the world to run. Felix getting unhooked. They're all injured, though. Nia didn't get a chance to reset. Taking a hit at the window. Good shot from the, the shred there, but... Kate is the only one that hasn't been hooked, right? I do believe that is the case. Yeah, Kate is the last one. So as soon as Kate gets hooked, they get their bonus points. It looks like they are resetting appropriately. They need two more gens. That, once they get that gen completed, though, there's no latent three gen. Because they do have, they do technically have that latent three gen. It's just the Gallows isn't tying it together anymore. But after they get that one done, there is no three gen. There's nothing. But Demo's doing a really good job, especially like... <laughs> In a two-man scenario, you in a, in a, if you're two-man against an M1 killer, you can do a gen, possibly a gen and a half, depending on how well the chase goes. But against a demo who has all the R reading in the world, you can't do much. Oh, no, so it wasn't once Kate. The yeah, as soon as survivors uh, go down here, it's over. Yeah, okay, so they have... Uh, so it's Nia they have They've hooked yet. everyone but one, so it must be the Nia. All right, and they did get the reset. Nia taking a hit and running away, but... I don't see why this demo should leave and, you know, just let this, uh, let this Kate die. Like, sure, you can finish this gen over here if Felix goes, and we see Felix on it, rightfully so, but you give up a gen and you pretty much secure 4K. Immediately going in for that unhook. That, I would have honestly camped them to death there if I was them. You yeah, had the time. Um, unfortunately, this is definitely a misplay on demo's part as Felix is just dragging him away from those active generators. Will take mm -hmm. the hit here, though and is trying to get up to high ground oh, for that balanced yeah. landing and demo unfortunately none the wiser will end up missing oh. their shred and felix is out of here if they had actually timed that shred and flew off and hit the felix uh i might have screamed a little bit that would have been, oh, would have so been the sweet. play of the game no doubt about that and felix is down and I there think that popping. at most, I think we see only one more gen pop. I think this is going to end at a 4K on four gens completed. I I would tend to agree that the chase lasted a good amount of time. I just thought that they would have done a gen by now. You reset both the survivors. How did that gen in the corner that they were both working on not pop yet? Are they 99ing it and not another gen? I mean, they if they're the doing other? that at this point, that is a bold play, but we do see that gen finally pop on off, and we see another gen yeah. deadlock. The question is, does it have any progress? I would imagine so. Uh, no, or not very much at all. Yeah, they seize both these survivors. The survivors should know that this kit ruler has this add-on at this point. Especially, like, one, it's the most popular add-on that we've seen in comp so far. Two, this killer has all the knowledge that you wouldn't expect a killer to have, so... This is the, this is like this when survivors are like, man, this killer has wall hacks or something. It's like, oh, no, you think? <laughs> he does, in fact, he does. And I think that is a possibility oh, wow. that these survivors are just maybe not prepared for the new meta that is uh, the Lichen Demogorgon. We have we haven't seen Deliverance yet. So if Kate went back to that gen, Nia could Deliverance and extend the chase. They could actually get another gen done if Nia has the Deliverance. Yeah, but Demogorgon gonna be getting some information here, mm -hmm. and so even if that deliverance yeah, in play, the I don't know if it's gonna matter. Right. They are gonna take Chase here, and I think they are aware that there could be a deliverance on the table from this Nia. It might not matter, because, yeah, we see these pallets here, but this is a otherwise a dead zone. Ooh, is that Sprint Burst? That may have been a sprint, a sprint Burst. Burst. Definitely got a little bit of distance there, and I will note, no uh, deliverance there on the Nia. Will mention Kobe's are not allowed. So keep that in mind yeah. for future uh, refs. We could let uh, the team know that's no Kobe. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I, I didn't even notice that they were attempting a Kobe there. It was like last moment, but I saw that bar drop dramatically. Like, mm, yeah, that was not 60 seconds. Yeah, that was not 60 seconds. That was definitely, uh, you know, 45 or so. So 
Good call there. I, I did. I would not have caught that. Well, okay. When I looked at the bar, I was like, wait, why is the end struggle already? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Like missing missing skill checks on second stage, that's one thing. Kobe's another thing entirely. Well, you know, you say that, and we're gonna get to this endgame screen, it's turn out that Nia has deliverance, and we're gonna be like, uh Deliverance what? bugged. <laughs> Dude, if deliverance is bugged, I would scream. Let's see, I mean that is uh No, I think it was Kate. Fair. I think Kate had the uh Yeah, that is indeed yeah, Kate, Kate. Had deliverance. Kate with the dolly. Okay. So that okay. that must have gone way before then. Mm-hmm. Yep, but good demo play. I I still think the survivors had a couple of chances they could have brought it back. They played really well for a bit there after the, the first death on the Claudette, but uh demo played like they they didn't fully capitalize on the position they had, and I think the demo just incrementally brought it back over time. Made a couple mistakes too, but overall just overall play I, I guess the, I guess they just played better in the I there's a lot. Of, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to recall. There definitely was a moment or two the survivors I felt like could have actually got a two out. Oh yeah. Easily. I I and feel like just slowly dem slipped away. I guess I yeah. guess it's the R reading, knowing where all the survivors are and what chases you need to take is just really strong. I don't know. Well, I think once they mm. got Claudette out of the game, they're able to focus in on one survivor at a time. However. Mm. They had three people injured and they forced a reset. That's that that that's what killed it. They yeah, they made I, sure every survivor was injured and then they hooked somebody. They had to force a full reset and that just all the pressure was out from under the survivors at that point. I think that was it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say that was the moment I think that they lost the, the they lost the chance to come back. Yeah, I, I would tend to agree. And Real I rough. think that like the survivors just abusing bounce landing on the gallows was so it was good. influential into the amount of pressure they were able to bring mm -hmm. back. But it just came down to between um, you know, demo managing the hooks and always in chase one after another after another. I think also survivors just missing their skill checks, unfortunately, regressing that gen in that corner by eight was seconds of time. Yeah. I mean, that's not insignificant amount of time when demos hanging around and still regressing mm -hmm. by 0.3% per second. Honestly, and yeah, I completely agree. And now that I'm thinking back on it, if that gen had popped earlier, they had the split. They obviously had two different gens being worked on at that point. You may be able to see at least yeah. a fifth gen in escape. Maybe not. Yeah. But the Maybe fifth not in escape, but two, two points. I mean, we literally saw the previous game be decided by two points. Yeah. No, two no points doubt. is nothing to sneeze at in these games. So this, this, this is accurate. This is accurate. Regardless, but, we'll have to see how they do in the next match because there's a trickster. And you, you have some words about trickster on the dead dog. I do. Everybody says it's like, oh, trickster's easy on dead dog. You can see for days. It's so open. It's like they ignore that one, the saloon, like the saloon's a bit 50, 50. It's, it's, Saloon's good against M1 killers. Trickster's slower, but you can shoot through all the gaps on that. Honestly, Saloon, Saloon Gen isn't even that safe against Trickster, oddly enough, if you want to play it that way. There's an entire side of the map that Trickster can't do anything against. You have the entire wall of buildings on that one side. That's not the 3-gen side, obviously. The 3-gen side, yes, that, that is open season for Trickster. If you get a 3-gen on that side and you play to it, it's absolutely disgusting. But there's an entire side of the map that Trickster is, I would say, unplayable all those tiles in a row it's it's like a four stack times four it's like a 16 stack it feels like there's just wall after wall after wall after wall it's like strode on steroids you just back and forth all through there use your vaults use your windows trickster can't do i have tried so hard to make trickster work on that side of the map it's impossible you cannot do anything on that side of the map the other side uh saloon not the safest uh shack Iffy, it depends on how you play the shack. That is only the only shack you can probably play it well because you can break the door. But yeah, if you get the three gen spawn out by the gallows, you that you have something to hold down at least. But otherwise, yeah, I, I trickster is a love hate relationship on this map for me. If survivors know about the other side of the map, I'm just pulling my hair out the entire match. So we'll have to we'll have to see if they know the strats. Let's see, uh, I'll have to see if they watch my stream any and see how much I complain about dead dog. I was about to say, so what? what is worse in your opinion, Dead Dog or Father Campbell's Chapel? Uh, Father Campbell's Chapel every moment of the day. There's there's at least uh, places on Dead Dog you can throw over 90 per, like ninety plus percent of the loops that are like safe loops. Um, you can't throw over at all. There's there's very few spots, if at all, that you can throw over on Father Campbell's Chapel. The inner building is a looping nightmare for me. 
Um, most of the shots can't be shot around. Like, there's so many corners you can dodge around in the main building that you can't get shots off half the time. Obviously, the tiles that we know, the long wall, LT, and everything else, you can you can't shoot through them. They're very high. And then every other like the the you know everything the charred houses, the remnants around yep. every part. You can't throw. There's like one or two little spots you can throw through. And threading the needle and hoping the survivor falls through it is just really bad. Father Campbell's like, I understand it's a relatively balanced map in the game of Dead by Daylight, but Trickster suffers on that map so badly. If the survivors know anything about line of sight dodging, you can't get shots. Yeah. It is, it is awful. I trust me, try it. You can't throw over anything in the map. Everything is just high enough that you can't get it. It's, ugh. yeah. No, that, that map is insane. Not to mention, if the survivors take like I say the main building's bad. You know the you know that the you, that tile that can spawn right next to Shack with the window open next to it? Uh-huh. Bump that noise. It is an infinite. Okay, speaking of that. And especially that. if you leave it, you go right back to main building, vault the window, and it's like even M1 killers suffer. It's so bad. It anyway. it is rough. Speaking of which, I, I didn't notice it. Mm. But I watched a not start of a video recently. Did you see that Eerie of Crows got shadow buffed for survivors? Yeah, I, I I think Scott Judd mentioned it too. Yeah, I I already like I like the aesthetic. I think it's super cool. The daylight thing. I understand people don't like the daylight thing. I get it. That map is like firmly one of my least favorite maps now. I, I... liked it when it came out, but. Again, you can't see over most of the tiles. The, the, the fences you can see over, but most of the tiles you can't see over. Yeah. And they're all safe pallets. They're yeah. all safe. Yeah. Yeah, that is... It It, that, it literally feels like Ormond used to. It, you're not wrong because I literally was playing it earlier today and I looped the trapper for a good five gen just going from one side of the map to the other, just traveling, ran into main, Drop pallets, ran back through, took the vault down, went back around and back in the main. Only reason why that trapper got a 4k? My smooth brain solo queue survivors decided to step in traps. <laughs> I was the I was on the first Eerie? one hooked. On Yeah. Eerie. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was hooked at the top, because Trapper finally got me four gens later. Mm. And I'm like, okay, watching Trapper put down traps and I'm I'm throwing my hands when someone coming near, so like, pay attention, don't go into traps. And then I just like, okay, one reset. Oh, you got hit. Okay, unhook me. Uh, okay, you're down. All right. Trapper mm. resets trap. Other survivor comes through. Oh, hey, look at that, an unhook. Trap, I'm like, you gotta be joking me. What is going on here? Yeah, on Eerie, I don't really think there's much excuse. <laughs> Yeah, no, I it was absolutely nutty. I am happy, well, however. Rose, sure, but yeah, 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 no, no. Uh, they, I will say one thing they did change to Eerie, which I'm happy about. Of the current way boil over still is, uh, is that they did spawn two static hooks up there now. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's none. I think much like RPD now, they have made it so that is guaranteed. Uh, hooks upstairs which is a really good thing, and I'm very mm. happy about the boil over nerf coming with uh, the next update. Yeah, if they had done this initially, I actually really like the way the boil over works. The only thing I would change now is I would like it if uh, boil over, the first time you picked up a survivor, it didn't show. Yeah. That, they... way, that way your only indicator is like, oh, they're really violently you know, throwing around, so. So that there's a chance that you might get fooled and you'll drop off and you'll give them like, you know, extra bonus or something, I don't know. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this trickster game though. I, I, I want to see how the trickster plays this. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting if uh, the survivors are knowledgeable on how to play against trickster, because I think that's what we see all the time mm -hmm. is that survivors fail at uh, playing trickster uh, when uh, they just don't understand, they don't realize mm -hmm. play tall tiles, yep. force tight corners. Then you're fine. Hold a W. Uh, exactly. I mean, that's every killer at this point. Hold yeah, w, right? well, it really punishes this killer. Like, yeah, I know. They're like, well, if you run in a straight line, it'll shoot you. It's like, just go back and forth. Literally. But you lose distance. It's a 110 killer. Do you do you realize how hard it is to gain distance as a 110 killer? I know that, like, on, the, on, on paper, like, when you math it out, 
there's only like what one second difference or so i forget there's like a very small like time difference technically between the chase difference but this game is decided by millisecond decisions sometimes so oh yeah a, a second and chase is a lot to work with that's a, that's a safe vault that's a pallet that you drop this yeah no I, I there is so much counterplay to trickster it's ridiculous and again it is map dependent there are some maps that don't like a record rec, like uh no records yard yeah records yard's actually pretty fine for trickster you can see over most things there you've got the tiles that you can go into that are safe but you like it's same same thing for hunters. Hunters just seize down lines, so can trickster. Trickster can see over them. And honestly, uh, I think you're better off using the, the the knives overall anyway. Like I understand if you're just a crack hunters, you're gonna get the shots anyway. But trickster's going to make sure they take hits, and you can shoot through hell's exits. Once they take that hit at the loop, they run. You get six knives as they run, they're down. Whereas hunters, you've got to wait for the wind down, the wind up, and everything else. So well, I am I am excited to will critique see. this trickster. Yeah. Uh, All right, so very we have curious. faster throw speed, and we have the... I have not used this add-on in a long, long time. This is interesting. Okay, so, I, I want your thoughts. Oh, on? So, what, what, what are your thoughts on this? You know, obviously, I feel like the last time that things like this were used is when Trickster's add-ons were a little bit broken, for lack of a better term. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I've seen, like, the, uh, what do you call it? <coughs> I have... This is what I call the training wheels add-on. And, and I'm not okay. saying that, like, disingenuously. It's to make sure you can get shots when they're about to curve around. Like, sh like obviously, piercing blades is unplayable now for the most part, right? You, I never see piercing blades. I would have been more in line with the, uh, the ricochet blades, personally, because it would have given you some counterplay, but... I'm not gonna say Shatter Blades is not incorrect. Shatter Blades, yeah, you get, uh, especially like out here, you can really get some extra shots off. And the collision, I will say the Dead Dog Collision for Trickster is actually horrendous. And there you go, yeah. The Shadow Blades doing work there and they are gonna get a hit on Ace. And look at how quickly he's able to pick up that chase again. Ace could go down here, believe it or not. And you I think this is probably the worst place that he could yeah, possibly exactly. be with these open areas on the water oh, wheel. Oh man. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Maybe that was a Trickster good... can pull it off. Yeah, that was a really good first chase. It took him a while to find a server that he wanted to chase, but they pushed him off of Gallows at open. I don't think there's a three gen over here. Is there? They're going straight for a basement hook. Uh, I don't think he makes it. Does he make this? Ooh. Oh, he does. Wow. Th this felt very reminiscent to my basement hook yeah. yesterday. Oh my goodness. I was like, I I, I knew as soon as I was, I was like, hey, he's not going to make it. It's going to be like a split second off. The killer intuition. Uh, Deadlock on the saloon gen, it looks like. No. Oh, wait. Oh, they're still corrupt. Wait, where where is Deadlock at? So corrupt just ended. Looks like Deadlock actually hit not the water wheel, oh, but wow. the area next to it. Okay, I thought it was... A, I did, I've never seen Saloon Gen corrupted, though. That's interesting. Uh, Worthwhile noting, a basement hook for this trickster. I think they could... You could camp this out, I would say. I I I would not go for this chase in Saloon. And, okay, they're faking it. Okay. But I say I I wouldn't if if the survivor you're in chase with is not going to salute, I would not go here. They're going for the unhook though. I don't know if they noticed that. No, I don't think they did. I think they saw scratch marks oh, and thought no. that was going the other way. And I think this is going to punch them as these survivors yeah. are out of the basement and I think they're in a very strong spot now. They are, but he's gonna get this down really quickly. Ooh. Again, th that is that is what happens when you are close to a trickster. It, it, it's it's almost as bad as Bubba. And that's the thing. If they had had that at the basement, that would have been two people in basement right now. Instead, they left yeah. the basement for just a little bit too long. They didn't see that they went back in. And it is first hook on the cake. I'm not saying this trickster's doing badly, but they're not playing to the potential that the survivors are giving up here. The survivors have given this trickster way more than I think they should have already. That is fair. That is fair. I mean, so far, these chases have been very much well out in the open. The so it is... Oh. Oof. Brutal. Uh, dry kick or pop? Okay, that pop. is a pop goes the weasel. So these fires will see that Jen has regressed by 25%. They will. And taking chase up here. I don't know if I agree with this. The, the, the only reason you should take chase at the saloon is if you've got distance on them. If you are close, you can get it to work. Um, going for the shots here. I don't disagree with this chase, though. This is an already injured. Survivor's not reset. 
And yeah, there's a lot of open spots here that they can possibly get through. However, Kate? Wait, this is, no, this is Yui, okay. I don't know what happened to the injured survivor here. I heard the Kate, just don't know where she went. Yeah. Could be hiding out nearby, but Yui taking chase is definitely going to be good for this team. And Yui just using this very tight oh, loop to strong. force them one. Very, very tight loop. I would have actually tried to reverse it and try and get some shots off. Just because running over here wouldn't have paid off as well. Because she's going to get a lot of distance. And this is, this chase is going to go on for at least another 15 seconds. Yeah, she's running over here. But however, this is that area I was talking about. They have to be careful because these rocks, the collision on these rocks is not what you think it would be. Um, you'll hit your knives like right there, yeah. mid-air knife. It is so bad. Dead Dog has the worst collision out of all the maps in the game. Dead Hard for the pal is going to give her much needed time. Oh, man. Yeah, this is doing, doing really good. Yeah, I was about to say, a very, very good job here just forcing the Trixie's hand. And he is leaving the chase, and I think for good reason. I I would tend to agree. And yeah, Saloon Gen popping. That is now deadlocked. They need to find a survivor that's already injured and get this uh get this hook. They're kind of falling behind on the pressure here. Ace resetting. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Yui reset as well soon. I am surprised with that Saloon Gen popping off that they didn't 99 it. Yeah, they have pop, but at the same time, I mean it just makes too much sense to keep Saloon 99 and not another gen. Full reset from this team. I, I would agree and a full reset from this team is possibly the worst thing for the Trickster now, because it's like the game reset, but you're <laughs> instead of five gens to be done, you have three. They do find a survivor, however, this survivor is not in no man's land. They have a chance to take a hit and get oh wow, they just W'd and they went to the textile. Very good job from the Cheryl. That is exactly what they need to do. Dropping the pallet early, very, very smart. You don't want to give the trickster any shots on you. Where yeah, we're about to see the decay start, and so it's gonna reset this timer as well. Survivors, I think they've warmed up to how to uh, deal with the Trickster now. And even if you take chase, where did they run to? They stay here. Yeah, they stay like, here. Yeah, back into the tile. This is, and this is the only reason. Oh my goodness! And that jet at the far end popping as well. I think these survivors might actually be getting a four out here potentially. This, this game is slipping quickly out of this killer's hands. This is the reason that I don't think Trickster is comp viable because Trickster, I think, in order to require chase eminence requires bamboozle okay at high level counterplay you need bamboozle and they you can't bring bamboozle to cop if you're not playing an instant down killer yeah i mean you are right in that sense you know that's the the realm of bubba realm of billy but trickster i mm -hmm. feel like just doesn't have the same form of lethality mm. uh or even map pressure given that both of them have mobility and are 115. true and this is not the best place for Cheryl to chase. As soon as she gets hit, this killer does have main events. And yeah, if she does, if she does not have overcome, oh, trickster, they ran. To, oh, yeah, they needed to follow that. Okay, it's not a good spot because you can immediately follow up and down her. But the trickster didn't caught where they run, and so she does get the distance. If they don't use main event, oh, the live play from this ace to get distance. The survivors broke any possible 3 gen on that one side, and now Trickster has to chase all on the side that I told you about. This side is nightmare fuel for a Trickster. Oh, Ace is doing such a good job here, too. The collision There's is one absolutely... one knife it's just away from taking that injury, and mm. I think we're going to start seeing that laceration regress if the Ace is able to hold out just a little bit longer, and there's the nope. health yeah. state instead. <laughs> again, I don't know if you noticed... Knives hitting midair on boxes because the co I I don't want to call it lazy collision programming, but it's it's not good collision. You've got Haddonfield, which is back in the day, perfect collision programming. Dead Dog, one of the more recent maps they added Dead by Daylight, has the worst collision in the game of Dead by Daylight, in my opinion. That and is fair. Like, that is fair. There's a hay bale in the corner over here that if you if you aim at it, you can aim literally way above it. Like, I'm, I'm saying, like, a good half a survivor above that hay bale, it'll still hit midair for no reason. <laughs> it's it's rough. It's super rough. Oh, did he, he, he I say that was not a good bolt point. Ace does go down here. He, okay, so here's the thing. The Trickster can still secure a 2K if they try altruism. If they hook basement here or hook in a very open spot, reload, even if the survivors get the last gen done, they can secure a 2K. Uh, wait, are they going for basement? It looks oh, like they are. They don't, I don't know if they make they don't this. Make this. They don't. I, you can't make it from the... Ooh Wait, what? Did he not wiggle well? Apparently uh, not well enough, and we did hear No Way what? Out activating. 
how did the the ace had to have missed something i i've never been able to drag a survivor from saloon all the way back to the basement something went wrong on that wiggle i think that i mean great for the trickster however they're only going to get two hooks out of the, if the survivors apart they're just going to leave you do not unhook against the basement trickster yeah, well, uh, I mean, I would tend to agree, though that exit gate is event. pretty close. Main event is not ready to go, and they're not guarding this at all. Uh, they need to get back to that basement right... Well, if you want a fresh hook, go for it, but if you're trying to confirm a kill, you need to get back to that basement ASAP. Adrenaline on the ace. Actually... You might have been able to basement save. The adrenaline on the ace would have given the killer a what? That's a that's a third health state if you borrow time, right? Yeah. That uh, they might have actually had the they had the tech to get a basement out against the trickster, and instead they're going to chase this Yui here again. This is a futile, futile loot against the trickster. I'm, I'm saying I'm uh, against the survivor. Yeah, you got body box for days here. Oh, she's close the, though. If they're they not are careful. Close. Oh, the dead hard for the distance. Oh, oh man, a brutal four out against Trickster. I think there was only three hook states that game. There, there were only oh, three hook states. Man. You are correct. That was brutal. The survivors, they, I, they got gallows. They got saloon. And the only gens they had to do were all in an area that is the worst possible place for Trickster to go to. And they, they played it exactly like they were supposed to on the survivor side. That, I'm telling you, that entire line of buildings, it, Water Tower excluded. Water Tower is very bad because you can see every line of sight there. <laughs> but everything else on that side, again, if you take the hit, they're just run into the tiles. And, and you saw it, every chase the Trickster took there, was a lost cause. You just lose. If, if you're you're either going to. I mean, okay, you can probably win a chase like five minutes later, but that's not where you want to be. And I I think survivors played incredible. Like I was really questioning what was going on from the beginning, but both basement hooks the trickster had they didn't play to the strength of the basement hook. That first basement hook should have been camped to death, and if any un a hook attempt should have been punished. And I, and the trickster had two basement hooks and they didn't take advantage of it. And the survivors, on the other hand, once they realized, oh, right, there's one side of the map that you can't do anything against. We're just going to go take chase on that side. Survivors played, besides the basement hook, I would say they played pretty much perfectly. Yeah, no, I, 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 I can't find any of the mistakes. I can't, the only mistake was that first basement hook. That could have been a landslide crushing uh, start against them. Uh, Trickster didn't capitalize, and the survivors from there, I don't think they made any major mistakes. I think they just played perfectly against the Trickster. They took chases where they need to, they body blocked where they need to, they did the proper unhooking. Gens, I mean, the, you could argue the gens probably could have been done a bit more differently, but I think in the end it actually worked. Because those two are the gens I was talking about that Trickster can actually deal with technically and defend to a degree. They got those two done, and then they did the gens that you can't deal with because you don't have line of sight. Yeah, really good. That's like, fair. I think that, that was a. Uh, that was a good example of trickster counterplay, which I will be putting in my VOD, given that guilt lets me do it. <laughs> I'm kidding, but no, I, I, I like props to survivors. Like they, they did exactly what you're supposed to do. And it's games like that. When I go into pubs, I'm like, survivors know how to counterplay. Oh, this is going to be rough. I've, I've had pub matches like that where you have some good chases, but the survivors realize, oh, right. We just do this, like, X, Y, and Z, and... Unfortunately, that's why I don't think Trickster is a... Comp if if Bamboozle was Trickster base kit, I think okay. Trickster could be... I think Trickster could be comp viable, because at that point, you notice that one tile they kept going back to with the two windows? You block yep. off the one where they have to get a running start to? Then it's just an inevitability. You're going to get them down, unless they run yep. to another tile. Bamboozle it, same thing. Because... That's why I love Bamboozle so much. I don't disagree that Trickster has a lot of mind gaming potential around windows like that, and I'm not discounting that, but at high MMR, or in this case, competitive Dead by Daylight, you're not going to fall for these mind games where it's like, oh, I'm using my red sand. Oh, I'm going to throw around the corner. I'm using my red sand. Oh, I'm going to throw around the corner. This is going to be like, 
I'm 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 behind a wall. What are you throwing at? <laughs> like, they're they're they they're not gonna play dumb. And yeah, you just you absolutely need bamboos in that case, and uh, you can't afford to take bamboozle when you have you know you need corrupt you need no way out you need x y and z way before you need bamboozle yeah and if you're in fair. the case of the billy you, you take bamboozle because you can just get the shots and if you, you, you're bubba you, you, you're I, bubba. I don't need to say anything yeah bubba <laughs> um you're not either of those two you're not a 115 you're not an instant down you can't afford it so Good attempt. I, I would tend to agree. I would tend to agree, but, uh, Good attempt, but... we got we got a we got a match of trickster. Obviously, and set one has since ended. Obviously, mm -hmm. the hookers coming out on top with forty three points. Two, we were sub sixteen, but That's we're moving to set number two right now, where the points do get reset for all intent purpose, mm -hmm. and we ever slept has another opportunity to bring this match back. With that being so... said, though. We are going to see the ghost phase on Gas Heaven. So, going to be interesting to see what uh, Mr. Ghosty Boy can do. So, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of surprised that you would take Ghost Phase on here instead of on uh, Dead Dog. I, I would have taken Ghost Phase to Dead Dog over Trickster and taken uh, Trickster to Gas Heaven. I mean, yeah, the walls suck. But at least if there's gens in that open area, what are survivors going to do? Do gens in front of you? You're going to slap them on the ground before they know what happens. Yeah. No, you're, uh, not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Interesting. I mean, to be fair, if you are ghost face, you do get to... I mean, the, the car walls are a great hiding spot to get some exposure, but they can also see you from halfway across the map? I... I yeah, a lot I'm, of I'm long gonna, lines of sight here. I'm, I, I'm not going to theorize about it too much. We're, we'll see how they play. I... Oh, this will be this will this will be interesting. I we've seen good Ghostface play before. We've seen some Ghostface absolutely just I would say play far above what I would have thought their potential could be. Do you think we're going to see another play for food Ghostface? I would love to. I lo I I I love the fact that play with your food actually gets so much value and gets work done. It's really cool. You, I would never have thought it because the only time I ever see play with your food used unironically was back on Myers when you're trying to do tombstone builds and just zoom across and like choke someone out. But now uh, it's yes. like Oni. I I'm sold. Play, yeah. play with your food on Oni is actually pretty 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 good. I, I'm here for it. And play with your food on I, I would never have guessed a million years on Ghostface, but I mean if it gets you closer, go for it. You only need a couple of downs and I guess if your swings are what downs people, it, it makes sense on Oni. I guess it kinda makes sense on Ghostface too. You get 130 stacks, you stock someone to one, you know, stock someone to one to expose. You, you're Thuman, so you might, yeah. Works. If it, if it works, it works. We'll, we'll see. I would be pleasantly surprised to see play with your food. I, would be I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see it. But Well, mm. we'll have to wait yeah. and see, to yeah, say to the me. least. And I don't know, I, I really do like Ghostface. I am curious, though, how they're going to rework him, how they're going to tweak him. Because, oh, like, man, honestly, right. the biggest thing is, is, like, I really like his kit because mm -hmm. he's a 115 stealth who has no downside. The only thing that has any form of downside is the fact that he can get revealed from so many different angles. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing, too, is that, yeah, if you have stretch res, you just reveal him automatically, which is yeah, super dumb. Yeah. But that's just... That, that I mean, is to the... be fair, it's... It, it's it's two things. One, his the programming on the revealing is already kind of weird, and then two, like stretch res is not within the you know game's intended design. So, and it, your your perspective's already got to do weird things anyway. So I'm not surprised that that's the way that works. One of the um, one of the few times stretch res actually really does provide a significant competitive advantage. Yeah. Um, but that said, uh, for Ghostface. I, the first thing would make his leaning consistent. Since the addition yeah. of the servers, his leaning is on par with, I would say, doctor levels of botched. Yeah. Like, there's no reason the doctor should have... There's no reason the detonation delay add-ons should make that much of a difference. It should... Like, if I shock a survivor, make them be shocked. No, don't make it be a, a thing of the dedicated server. Like, oh, we checked dedicated server side. You actually shocked them, like, way past, like... Like... 
yeah, with a dedicated leading check, it's ridiculous. It's so hard to lean as a ghost face. Maybe fix that, or just reprogram and make it better. Besides that, though, they already did a pass over the add-ons. I don't expect them to do too many more with the add-ons. I don't know yeah. what you can do to Ghostface to make him any better. Like, maybe, uh, I mean, I've heard the thing with Myers, like, if you're farther away and you're stalking, it gives, you know, faster stalk. Maybe make Ghostface stalk faster if they're further away. It's not like it's going to benefit him a ton because you have to chase that much farther. But if you stalk 99 away from a survivor and then you slowly creep up to them and then you peek out and reveal them real quick, I think that's very flavorful and it might be an okay change. I could see that. I don't know. I could see that. But with that being said, we do indeed see the ghost face on the gas oven. And we'll have to see what uh, ghost face brings to the table. Uh, Gas Heaven with one of the most consistent spawn logics in Dead by Daylight. I would be surprised mm -hmm. if Ghostface didn't find their prey early, and sure enough, there is a survivor, and they're going for the stock plays. They are going for the stock, and they've almost got that Cheryl 99. It's about, uh, what, 80%? I'd say 75, 80%, but they can't commit to the chase. There's no point in m one them, but they uh, do anyways. Okay. Uh, Ghostface woke up and chose violence today, apparently, and... Yeah, I agree. I don't know why they would go for the hit there. Maybe there was no other survivor in sight, and I guess pressure is pressure, but... Uh... I mean, that is true, but we did see survivors around there that were not the Cheryl, so mm -hmm. I would definitely have left them at that 80 and then popped in on them at a different place in time. But good mind game there from the ghost face. I think we're going to see that pal drop. Yep. And I'm reading chat real quick. Uh, just a quick note. So apparently, these were not... Uh... These picks were randomized. They they picked these killers from a randomizer. Yeah, so basically what that means is that during killer selection may have taken a wee bit too long, and once you reach, uh, go past your due date, your picks do get randomized, and the randomizer said, you get Ghostface today. Ghostface and Trickster, apparently. Trickster actually was chosen. Oh my word, okay. There's no excuse <laughs> for you. I you you need to come watch me, sir. I'm mean, anyway. Um, <laughs> don't forget Cheryl's to like and subscribe to Little Rugard. There you go. Cheryl is doing fantastic work on this loop, forcing the killer into bloodlust and just to break the pallet. And now they're breaking up to go after this ace instead. We're almost through with corrupt, and they have not really gotten any significant pressure. And this one I'm talking about, not able to lean around the car is just really frustrating like randy you probably might have been able to crouch and lean but the the leaning checks for this game not only is there an issue with dedicated but there's also just the issue with this the collision in general being really uh unfriendly i guess also that yeah these kicks are quick so that's brutal strength and corrupt ended and i just saw that gen become uncorrupted that's deadlock that is indeed both brutal strength and deadlock okay Every time we're on Gas Heaven now, killers are breaking that door. Explain. So I actually asked Domo this last time, and it's not the same situation as it was before, but the reason they're doing it is because, one, they're not really trying to defend that gen to any degree, and if you get a down inside there, you just want to be able to get to your hook quicker. It's it's a way to get to a much more, for, uh, I guess, an easier way to get a starter to a hook because getting the only other hook is you have to walk all the way around a pallet to the outside and then hook outside in a very uh, awkward spot. You hook out into the center of the uh, area and you're just able to walk away from it, so. I mean, I agree with I that. I get it, but I However, I yeah, I'm still there, there's the, a what, big what, however here. If you basically yeah. turn that into an eye tile, like a super long exactly. eye tile. No, I I, I, I agree. I, I, I completely understand I agree. It just, oh, getting the reveal. I think that, was that a? He didn't have line of sight. Was that someone else revealing him? I think it may have been. Unfortunately, we are not privy to the direction of yeah. uh, that survivor. But Ghostface almost has his power here. Oh. I, I was going to say you, you could wait oh. like five seconds and go for the insta down. You brought Chewed Pen. You don't like what? It's a uh, 20 seconds. It's not nearly as bad as the 30 second. That's one. I, I'm really glad they made that more base kit. It feels like in, they have the. Uh, uh, what is it? The eerie doesn't add on where leaning goes, I think, a full second faster for stalking. Yep. I agree with, I actually really like this add-on combo. It's one of the best add-on combos, I think, especially after the, the buff to his add-ons, but both survivors, they've had nearly, I, 
I would be uh, trying to lean, uh, no pun intended, lean into his power a bit more with these uh, these stalks. Yeah, I mean, they he, this, the ghost face is getting so close to revealing these healthy survivors for the insta down, and then throwing all that progress away by hitting them with that, mm -hmm. with that M1. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. I heard that gen get worked on, and that Ghostface did too, and they're like, wait, Survivor's here, but they didn't see anything. So Yui, Yui just stealthed it out. I don't know how they got away from that gen so quickly. Yeah, they did a fantastic job of evading that Ghostface, and we do see that Survivor at the hook, but I don't think Ghostface did. I don't think they did either. Unfortunate. These Survivors are playing very, very proper against this M1 killer, and just, I... I, I have I, I, nothing against survivors. I have nothing to say for them. They're playing this perfectly. Like they have made no mistakes that I could even like put like point out. They're giving this ghost face nothing to deal with. Like no quarter. Just absolutely slapping him in the face right now. Yeah, I mean, realistically <laughs> speaking, that someone always has eyes on him, revealing mm -hmm. him whenever he goes into mm -hmm. cloak. And these chases are just taking way too long for the Ghostface to get really any value. We hear that mm -hmm. pallet down, and I'm surprised Ghostface has not broken it. It seems like an inconsequential pallet, but we're going to see here. Ace can it loop makes it, it for days. Yeah, yeah, until you are in Bloodlust 2, this is an infinite. I, 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 I genuinely think, I don't think Bloodlust 1 gets you out of this infinite. I think Bloodlust 2 is nope. what gets you out of it. You would be correct. And Ghostface They're finally going one. for the break. Oh, no. Oh. It's very, that palette is very reminiscent of why uh, Hawking was such an amazing map for survivors who knew how to play it well. Because yeah. if you don't break those type of palettes, it just goes on and on and on like that address, bunny. You you wouldn't think that a palette that you could the killer can literally just like, you know, prance around the side. If it gives you two meters of distance and you're only in like a 20 meter, you know, distant loop, it, it's an infant. Oh my goodness, these gens are flying off the shelves now. I think they have that Gen 99 in the corner as well. I think that is, uh, yeah, that was, these gens were popped really close to back to back, and it's the same gen that's getting, uh, blocked by it. Survivors are playing absolutely out of their minds here, and look at how far this loop is going, too. I'm surprised they didn't go back into their power and try and get the hit again. Oh my goodness. Well, I think that Survivors this time Ghostface was actually attempting to get the mark. They are waiting for their power and just wasting time. Unfortunately, Cheryl here is only at 50%. I don't even think he's going to get the mark, even and if he were to. And there's the eyeball to... you're talking about. Yeah. Like oh, I said, yeah. I just I think that if you play around this, it just becomes a super long eye tile, and you as the killer just will sit here and suffer. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. This is, as of right now, as a killer main, I would I would define this as suffering. <laughs> That, that is that is a very apt word for what is going on right now. And the ace cake in the chase now. They do save that stock on Sheriff later, so they could get something out of it. And we've only seen what three perks so far. Maybe they have like I don't I don't I don't think no way I was gonna help you out here. I, it, yeah, maybe if some I mean, input, if I don't it's know, it's, no mm, ed, yeah. then maybe might help you get a one k. Yeah, but. I don't think outside of that, there's really much else Ghostface can do. And honestly, this last gen's taken a while. I got a feeling maybe these survivors are hunting these totems. You know, I wouldn't. Oh my goodness. And Adrenaline on the ace as well. And you might if you're looking, right. there is Bloodlust, but there is no haste. And not to spoil things, but that was indeed no ed. These fires doing exactly what I said and just hunting down the totems. Survivors have literally from the ground up dismantled this ghost fish from the start of this game, it felt like. They, yeah. they have had all the pressure, they've had all the answers, they've had all the keys, and they have given this ghost face nothing to work with. Absolutely. And I would say this is a another example in a how to play against ghost face video. All right, I'm going to be making two videos now how to play against <laughs> and how to play against ghost face. <laughs> oh, man. They have They're the power. The body they could talk in. up Cheryl here. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think it's even going to be enough. Yeah, they can see the Kate, no Cheryl, and that is going to be one, two, three, four. Actually, wait, there's only three. We don't see the Yui. I got a sense maybe she might be either at Shaq or, yeah, I yeah. think she was at Shaq. Or at the other Exegate. Uh, Exegate, yeah. uh, Hatch wouldn't have spawned just yet. 
Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I think there's just other exit gate or something. I don't know, but... Oh, that was... That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal to watch. Survivor, what... uh, just, again, survivors gave him nothing to work with. Yeah, tis what happens when you bring Ghostface to a comp match. Uh, it's uh, like bringing uh, a knife to a gunfight. And the survivors uh, have the gun this time around. Comp match on gas heaven. Like, it's one thing if you... It, it's one thing to bring a killer with no map pressure to gas heaven, but like, Ghostface's map... Oh, That was unfortunate to say the least. Oh, man. Like, we've seen Ghostface do stuff before. And on, on certain maps, I think it could work. Like, it's not... Yeah. You're not going to get, you know, you're not going to see these, you know, blight level games where you get, you know, 3K and all this stuff. But you might, if you play absolutely perfectly, get a 2K if you go to, you know, Wrecker's Yard. Where the it. leaning is proper, it. you get lots of line of sight. And you can do it, but not on Gas Heaven. There, yeah. You either have all the hiding room in the world... Or is there so much open space that you can get revealed from everywhere? Yeah, I think, it, realistically oh, speaking, if you are playing Ghostface on Gas 7, you just can't really lean into his ability. You just use him as a stealth-based M1 killer. I see you like the leading puns as well. I mean, you, 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 you revealed <laughs> me there, Rue. You revealed me. All right, well, it's been fun. Good butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I do Did enjoy I expose our, our uh, a little a little bit. All there. right, all right, <laughs> Mister. I'm gonna have to touch you off there. <laughs> I'm sure, chats. I'm all ears. Uh, uh, <laughs> you said that, okay. That game was suffering. This is suffering. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. Anyway, moving on to the next match. We're back on Gas Heaven again, but this time it's Huntress and. I feel like Huntress is absolutely fine on this map. Yeah, you've got the car walls that you can run behind, she can't shoot through, but there's a lot of open area that you can shoot through. I think I think Huntress is just fine for this. I think Huntress can easily get a 2K. I, I think see it's it. well within their ability. I mean, at the end of the day here, all they need is the 1K. True. What is the what is the score after all this is said and done? It's sixty four to nineteen. Okay, so match point is out of the question. Yes, but... match point is out of question. They would they would need to get a a four man out with no hooks. Yeah, yeah. All right, survivors. What you gonna do? Show me. Is it possible? Absolutely. Is it likely? Probably not. Well, they could tie but, it. Indeed. By the way, can I it. say, love the skin. Oh, the Baba Yaga skin. Oh, baby. Are, are we on the screen right now? Do they see the Baba we, Yaga skin? We are not. I, I, will, I will show Baba Yaga. Show the Baba Yaga. Oh, it's such a good skin. I will say, so the, the thing that, I know people are like, oh, I don't like the lullaby. Or like, oh, I don't like, you know, this and that. The only thing I don't like is the menu animation. Where it looks like they just kind of pick the hatchet and flick it off to the side like it means nothing. It's a super weird hatchet animation. But yeah, that's this, fair. This is a fire skin. This skin is knocked out of the park. I love it. I, I just I hate the fact to... that so many more skins are linked. Stop making yeah. new skins. I love them. That's fair. Sorry. That's fair. But I will say, between like it's a really hard choice for me whether or not I like Baba Yaga more than Mordeo Huntress. Oh, that's fair. Because Morde uh, Mordeo Huntress, Huntress is just great. Yeah, no. I understand why this is linked. This is rightfully linked. Obviously, you can't combine this with anything else because that just destroys the intention. And I guess that's the thing with the, like these other skins. Like They just they manipulate the base model to such a degree, and they come with different voice sounds. Like I, I don't mind Link sets existing. I just wish that there were less of them. That looks That's fair. I, I, I want to mix and match them more. Like, Trixie's That's getting fair. their first Link skin, and, like, I get why it's linked. You've got new voice lines, new anim... Like, everything about it is just beautiful. I wish I could mix it up a little bit, but I understand why I can't. Now, obviously, for, like, Krampus, Trapper, Minotaur, Oni, some of these need to be linked because, obviously, you break the geometry otherwise, but I just wish there were less Link skins. They said they were going to make less of them, and 
survivors are getting a ton of Link skins still. Like, Fang got a new Link yeah. skin. I, I like skins. I think that, again, um, not calling out the devs too much here, but the artists are carrying at this point, it feels like, because daggum, these skins are fire. No, I, I say that's one thing I can always enjoy is the cosmetics. Oh, Because yeah. I definitely have my list of cosmetics that are like my go to's, and I sit and go, yes, I'll be getting that. Baba Yaga was like, when I saw, like, oh, yeah. yes, I'm getting Baba oh, Yaga. Oh, yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, my chat's been asking me for a while to make a trickster t uh, skin tier list, and maybe at one point, I don't, I don't know what you said. The problem is, is that skin tier lists become dated really quickly because oh, yeah. skins keep popping out. I and I'm glad that tricksters, you know, people have been complaining that tricksters like, why does trickster keep getting skins? Like, who, like, because he's beautiful. <laughs> Shut up. Let me have my skins. He needs thank you. to have all the drip. Yeah, give me my drip, dang. Also, can but, I say how much I, I haven't listened to it too much. I love the Baba Yaga Huntress menu music. They, oh, they yeah, went yeah. that far too. They made menu music mm -hmm. for this skin. Yeah, uh, again, they are really going all out. Of, like the, when they, I glad, I'm glad, I'm glad at this point because before the other Link skins, like they were just, it was just a Link skin. It seems like they're putting way more effort when they do make a Link uh, set for a killer. They do really go all out for it. Oh yeah. I'm curious if there's gonna be a menu music for the new Trickster Link skin as well. Ooh. I everything else is different, so if you if they are going to make the link sets all out just really good, I'm not against it. But stop making link skins for survivors. Just That's stop. That's fair. That's fair. Just stop. Let me mix and match my drip. Thank you very much. If I wanna have like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. There's I, there's some of them that I get why, like uh, the Neo one with the hoodie. It makes sense. I still wish it wasn't linked because I've seen I've seen you know people break the game and you know mix and match it anyway. I mean like Gerald. It looks okay. Oh, okay. That's different. It, uh, I understand <laughs> ma making the special characters. I'm fine with being linked. And anytime I see an abomination in my game, I tunnel <laughs> them out. They should not exist. I do not like. It's just so gross. It's like, especially because, you know, they look up, it's like, mm. it's like, okay, it's evolving. I'm the only killer here. You're not supposed to be one. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not here for oh. it. Oh, man. But no, I, I could, I could, I could rant about how good the drips are in this game for days. Just. Oh, yeah. That's, it's like that they have done apart. really, mm -hmm. really well. And I mean, I, I get why, right? Obviously. And I, I'm not going to go too deep into this because I could probably go on an absolute monologue here for it. I think that's part of the reason we don't see as many, like, quality updates sometimes on the programming side of things is because they don't make their money inherently from, like, programming things more properly. They make their money from these just absolutely gorgeous drips they add to the game. That's, that's where their fair. money comes from. You get $5 for a DLC that you can, if it's not an IP, you just buy it with shards. Or you make these drop dead gorgeous skins that everybody's like, I want that. I'll pay ten dollars for it. Which one are you gonna put more effort into? The one that you know, I, I, yeah. I would argue you still need to definitely put effort into the programming side. But I, 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 from a corporate perspective, I understand why they put so much in the drips. And every single time we have a new update, it's like, hey guys, check out these new skins that we got coming for you. And everybody's like, oh, so. That's, that's my bit. I'm not going to go too much into that because I've, I've definitely ranted about it before. I wish they would change priorities a bit, but keep the drips it coming. I'll probably keep buying them. What it is. I'm a sucker. I will I will continue to buy all the drips. All uh, I, I am there with you. But with that being said, we do yeah. have the last match of uh, this, or last trial of this match. There we go. Word sometimes. And we're going to see mm -hmm. how on point the, the hook is are with the huntress indeed if you make too many more of these puns i might actually get sick i'm <laughs> i mean uh, no 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 twitch doesn't like their name they're the hookers i know i know also uh you want to go in on a uh an ultimatum with me that i made a while back i don't know if anybody i don't know how many people know about this i made an ultimatum sometime last year that said 
if Dead by Daylight announces that they're going to rework their code base into an actual language instead of blueprints, I will buy every single cosmetic there is in this game for money. Okay, okay. That's like almost a K and a half of like skins. I will do it. If that, they that is a choice down. right there. But, hey, I'm, uh, I'm giving a motivation. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Well, Ooh. the Huntress is on the prowl, and we see I love Babushka this and Oak Haft. I love this weapon, by the way. It just looks so freaking metal. Oh, good mind game from the Claudette there. Oh, the collision. Not able to get that hit. Ooh, okay. Not getting the mind game there, and they do get the hit. Yeah. Machine Gun Huntress is absolutely correct, I feel like. I love Machine Gun Huntress. That's uh, that's Machine Gun Kelly's uh, cousin, right? Something like that. I mean, I'm sure they're related. I mean, they they look like each other, obviously. <laughs> oh, man. This, this, uh, Ooh. oh, cheeky shot there. Claudette, so very, you very are juicy, cheeky honey. shots, but Huntress just spamming those hatchets and not right able to get the second hit. And looks like we're going over to uh, to Shaq here, though Huntress deviating from the pay path and will try and go for the M1 down, looks like. They will, and they do get the hit. However, they really need to reload. Iron, no Iron Maiden. <laughs> Disgusting. I, I'm already uninterested, I'm kidding. I, I would be pleasantly surprised to see Iron Maiden. I never, ooh. ooh. They got the hit? Ooh. Let's go. Okay. My soul hurts for them. Oh man, that is a brutal shot there from the Huntress and well-timed because uh, you remember the time when uh, you couldn't, hit, you could hit a survivor over a generator over back gens. in the day if they are working on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well they have tied the set and let's see and if they can get another one here. All they need is either to camp oh. or the down and it will be over. But the oh, hit no. collision on those rocks, it's like playing Trick Style over again. Yeah, no kidding. And I wonder if it's because she's she's uh, aiming with her left hand instead of the right. If it was right hand, it might actually work out. Because, you know, Trick Style is uh, left and right hand uh, throwing boxes. Yep. But I don't know. Regardless, uh, they're going to get the unhook. However, if Kate does not get picked up and goes on this hook, they are going to lose the set. And I think this is where going to result in it. I mean, to the survivor's credit, those are some quick gens. But yeah. ultimately, that is uh, that is the set right there with that second hook. So we will see how they play for pride here. And will I they go down sworn, swinging? I, I could have sworn that I heard some footsteps, but I don't know. Maybe it's the fire barrel. I always get the fire barrels and footsteps oh, mixed right? up sometimes. It's the most ambiguous noise in the game of Dead by Daylight. It's like, is that footsteps? No, it's the fire barrel. Is that a totem? No, it's a fire barrel. Is that a hit from down range? No, it's a fire barrel. <laughs> oh, my word. No, so don't like, you dare, Huntress. Oh, they, oh no, no, no. If, if they get that shot, I was going to scream. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Huntress <laughs> a little bit cracked here. Some fantastic shots, though. Oh, my word. I can't tell it to be like, oh, that's disgusting, or oh, that was sweet. Good unhook timing. Waiting for the hunters to go reload, and they do save them from going to second state because of it. Yeah, B Orange here trying to do their uh, best Ralph impersonation. <laughs> right? Oh, man. Some really good shots, though. I'm enjoying this. I mean, it's hard not to enjoy Huntress matches. I actually had someone come to me the other day and ask, oh, just a little bit into the geometry there. Ask is like, why do you play Trickster? I, I find Huntress like way more enjoyable for, you know, getting those hits and everything like that. I, I don't find the same enjoyment for Trickster. Like, that's absolutely fine. I Huntress is very enjoyable to get hits on. I love that. I just like Trickster a bit more. It's I, I'm glad there's two range killers that feel satisfying to get hits on. Yeah, no, that, I mean, that, a it's a similar player. reason why I enjoy playing killers like Pyramid Head, because mm -hmm. there's just something so satisfying about getting hits with Punishment of the Damned, and Hunter's oh. holding strong, but Ooh. does not get the hit there. A little bit off there to the side. Yep, and they are going to break up this chase. I, uh, they didn't notice at first that uh, Fang, or yeah, was it Fang? Yeah, Fang had broken off from the loop, so good job there on the Fang for holding W, because that's, that's kind of what you got to do against Huntress. Another gen going for these survivors. They get the hit right before the vault. A little bit tit for tat, honestly. If this, if it wasn't for the fact they were already down uh, the set point, the game's going pretty good for the survivors. Yeah. 
You are not wrong, and Huntress trying to become uh, a M1 Huntress, but that dead hard getting the distance they needed. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. they still will be going down. They will be going down. I love when that uh, when that mind game works. Unfortunately, um, I think on these tiles, especially if you have stretch, you can see where she's gonna go, and you don't fall for that. But yep. I mean, it is what it is. I I wouldn't mind if they made some of these uh these tiles taller, in my opinion. Because see, it, I feel it, like it you say that. At the same time, I feel like you cry inside because that means Trickster can't like. Yeah, as Tricks many might throw as throw it over value. those walls anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Can... But if they're going to okay. raise those tiles, they're going to raise all the tiles, right? Okay, you know what? Tell you what. If they make an add on for Trickster that gives his uh, knives, like, no velocity whatsoever, and you just, like, pop shot them over the top of it, like little raindrops, sure. But <laughs> that'd be a weird add on. Make the, make the range of the projectile, like, not go anywhere. Imagine if you could charge his knives to like determine how much range it was and you could like just throw them real quick and just it's a quick drop down. Or the charge shots deal extra damage. Oh no, Ooh. the collision is awful for this Huntress. Yeah, she's trying to get some hits in a similar way that like Deathslinger would, but unfortunately because of the hitbox of the hatch, it's just not happening and oh, a the very duck. narrow miss there. Oh goodness, Claudette is on the level with how to duck against this Huntress. Very good chases, very good yeah, chases. Very, almost reminiscent of uh, the pl oh. uh, the plague match we saw earlier today where survivors were just on point with the dodges. Huntress, though, holding her hatchet this time and doubling. will end up missing, though. Yeah, this Claudette's on the level. The doubling back, the mixture, the ducking. This Claude, is this Claudette like a, like a secret pocket Huntress main? It's like, yo, guys, I got this. I know all the tips and tricks in the book. They get caught up by the M1, though. They do indeed, and we hear the no way out activate. I want to point out, though, there ain't no state hat. That's a papa. The haste status effects. Uh, unfortunately for the Huntress, Noed has been cleansed. Who would have guessed that both survivors from both teams cleanse Noed? Shocker. I mean, some some teams don't care about Noed, to be fair. No, I mean they just they, they both times they had more than oh. ample time to get the they get yeah. the totems as well as the secondary objective to that, ensure that no is Noed. fair. That is fair. I mean, to the to be fair, this Huntress has got some absolutely styling shots, but it's 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 probably because they knew that after they got the second hook, they got the set one. So they're you know they're just going you know practicing their shots against really good survivors. It's like it's like a scrim for them. Yeah, I, I and appreciate I, they're taking it seriously still while getting good shots, but exactly no, they're definitely still like it's very much feels like a bit of a scrim. You are right in saying that, uh, but you know it's still putting on a show and trying to get yeah. this down on the Fangman, but the oh, auto wave cutting them off on the gen. Oh, pain. Pain! And yeah, they get that. They knew they wanted to protect the vault and they couldn't stop it. Oh. Hey, guess what? Uh, Huntress is now a 115 killer, so maybe be able to catch up here. Yeah, she's making some good distance here. I don't think the Fangman gets there if you swing! Oh, the body block not quite in time. And I think Huntress, uh, if they reload, well, they need a reload right now if they want to protect this. Uh, yeah, because you can hook swarm here. Yeah, without a reload, I don't think Huntress is gonna be able to protect this hook. If she, if she had reloaded before uh, going for the uh, going for the pickup, you could actually protect it because you've got the you you got machine gun Huntress. It, it's it's not as powerful as Bubba's camping. It's not powerful as Trickster's camping, but it's as close as you get. However, the survivors did not hook swarm. They healed. They uh, did, and no Iron Maiden. We see the scratch marks uh, going for it. There's the hit on this the arena. Hit. There's another hit. Oh, here's Machine Gun oh, Huntress. It's open season. There's Good the hit on the squad. Oh, oh, oh the life. life on the Fang. Good stuff. Hit on Kate there. However, but Kate's gonna no get... more hatchets. Ah, but they're all injured, and she gets a reload, and she gets another hook, and that's all you need here. Now, now the survivors can't save because notice before they were able to they were able to reset. They didn't hook swarm when she hooked, but they were able to get there before she, before. Her. Yeah, they're just the eight Okay, it was a good attempt. It was a good attempt to format up. But that's what I'm saying. Like, machine gun huntress is not to be discounted. Yeah, she was mowing wrong. through health states. 
If she would have, if there wasn't that life on the thing, Min, she would have gotten the down as, on her as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, she would have. Uh, actually, I, I don't even know. Life might have not been in play there. It definitely helped her get away, but I think that I think it was just a little bit off. I think she, I think she threw behind too much. I think I don't know. It, it, it's it's close. It might have been life. I don't know. Ugh. good game though. Good game. Oh yeah. Well Absolutely. played. It was a fun one. Well played. But. but they don't, they're, they're not going to get the set point. The uh, the hookers definitely played out of their minds. They, they did indeed, and that there will be the final score for this match. 76 points to the hookers and 29 points for We Overslept. So congratulations, hookers, and GG, well played to We Overslept. And with that being said, we have another match after this, Rue, don't we? We do, we do, and... I'm, I'm, wait, hold on, I forget who's, what are they, yeah, I, I keep going, I keep going blank. I keep going blank whenever I see them. Remedy versus Reaper Assassins. Indeed. It's going to be a good match. I'm, I'm expecting some good stuff. I, I love watching Reaper Assassins play because they're such a, I, I'm not going to, I'm, I don't want to make this sound bad. They're such an odd team to watch because the way their team is made up. That's fair. It, it's so different from other comp teams. It's really interesting to watch how they play. So. I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a great match. Also, did I call Did I call? We Overslept? How did we get here when we first started? Did you? I think I might have. I think I might have mis said that. I don't know. Maybe chat's going to read me later for it, but regardless. Maybe, that, maybe. Good match. Good match regardless. And uh, yeah, we will be back in about 25, 30 minutes with the next match. But congratulations to Hookers. GG's We Overslept. Uh, thank you for joining me, by the way, Gilspire. It's a pleasure to have you and pass with you. Anytime, anytime, and uh, you guys will not see me for this last match as you, Rue, are going to be joined by Ganicus the Manicus. That's, that's my line! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like Ganicus. He's cool. He's chill. So, indeed, I'm looking forward indeed, to But it. before we go, Rue, if everyone wanted to go say hi to you later, where would they find you? All right, let's not botch this plug. You can find me on twitch.tv slash L-I-T-T-L-E-R-U-D-L-A-R-D or... Whatever they say when they shout me out, you can just follow that link. I'm a trickster main. Again, I was criticizing tricks pretty hard. Don't take it personally. I'm just the best trickster. I, I can't help if you can't. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a trickster main. I love throwing knives. I don't care what survivors say. You can eat my knives for all I care. And uh, yeah, that's where I am. And we're going uh, live uh, later tonight as well. So we'll be there in Guildspire. I heard that you are like the best artist in the game. Is that true? I would say my my artist is pretty yes. top notch, but beyond okay. the artist, okay. I also just play killers in general. As I am not only the commissioner for Chance of the Fog, but I'm also an educational Dead by Daylight player. So whether you're le looking to learn some killer or survivor, definitely make sure to stop on by and say hi at 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Also, yeah, I totally called them. How did we get here when we first started? I, I was like. <laughs> I, 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 I had a flashback as soon as I saw the score. I'm like, I just called these guys. How did we get here instead of we overslept? I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Come to the next game. I promise it'll be fine. I, I won't mess it up this time. Well, that being said, we'll see you guys in just 35 <laughs> minutes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.